Amongst the thousands of products made from him, one of the most extraordinary is Henry Ford's plastic car. Built in 1941, it contained cellulose fibers derived from hemp, sisal, and wheat straw. The plastic was lighter than steel, yet could withstand 10 times the impact without denting. In 1942, patriotic farmers at the government's request planted 36,000 acres of seed hemp, an increase of several thousand percent. The goal for 1943 is 50,000 acres of seed hemp. Hemp is not hard on the soil. In Kentucky, it has been grown for several years on the same ground, though this practice is not recommended. A dense and shady crop, hemp tends to choke out weeds. Here's a Canada thistle that couldn't stand the competition. Dead as a dodo. Thus, hemp leaves the ground in good condition for the following crop. Here's an ideal stand. The right height to be harvested easily, thick enough to grow slender stalks that are easy to cut and process. Stalks like these here on the left, they yield the most fiber and the best. Those on the right are too coarse and woody. In 1942, 14,000 acres of fiber hemp were harvested in the United States. The goal for 1943 is 300,000 acres. Thus, hemp, cannabis sativa, the old standby cordage fiber, is staging a strong comeback. There was a green innovation happening here in Alberta that could revolutionize the way things are made around the world. The government of Alberta's research arm says it's found an organic replacement for synthetic fibers. And as Jessica Earle reports, even a Calgary company is getting on board. It's an idea that began to germinate on a test plot near Vegreville. The Alberta Research Council planting hemp seeds hoping what sprouted would become a new industry. This is processed uh, hemp. This is effectively a replacement for fiberglass. Program leader John Wolodko and his team say their work has shown hemp fiber can provide a cheaper and greener alternative to its synthetic counterparts. So this is made for a company in uh, Summerland, B.C. From boat hauls to reinforced cement, industry partners are now testing out the organic material. Potentially, I mean, it's not much different than what's going on with these. A Calgary vehicle design company just finished a successful first trial of car bodies made out of hemp fiber. Workers say it's a smart move taking cues from the environment. Mm -hmm. Nature figured out over millions of years of trying to build things that this is the most efficient way to do it. So it's really in a lot of ways replicating how nature builds things. But since many people still associate hemp with marijuana smoking, it begs the question, will investors buy in? Those making the mold believe the answer is yes if they're given time to absorb the concept. When you talk to uh, industry, it's, it's sort of like taking baby steps. Uh, if we can introduce uh, green materials uh, slowly to them and use their existing processes, they're going to be more amenable to uh, accepting these new technologies. Hoping slow growth will mean the seeds they sow won't spoil. Jessica Earle, CTV News, Edmonton. Manufacture is not new. But it's been 69 years since Henry Ford showed us his own way of rolling hemp, so to speak. And as you heard in the last clip, Motive Industries is trying to build a greener building method. Well, there are some new developments in this story. Motive Industries, along with a company, a company called Toronto Electric, founded a project known as Project Eve. Project Eve is basically a collaboration of Canadian businesses trying to bind their skills to the creation of a greener, cleaner, highway-capable electric vehicle. One of those collab collaborations is called the Kestrel. Motive Industries will do the bodywork. A Qu Quebec company called TM4 Electrodynamic Systems will be providing the motor and I assume the powertrain as well. It's promised to have a top speed of 90 kilometers an hour and depending on the battery system could deliver a range of 40 to 160 kilometers on a charge. We don't know exactly what it looks like yet but a recent announcement said it would be unveiled in Vancouver on September 13th to 16th this year at the EV 2010 or VE conference and trade show. I believe there are five cars from Project Eve expected to show. Here's a few of Motive Industries sample designs to date. The car body's material though is of particular interest in that it's made from hemp. 
Hemp fibers are weaved into mats and then subjected to processes similar to carbon fiber and fiberglass. Creating carbon fiber from carbon or fiberglass from glass is a very expensive and resource hungry process. For instance, I can get a new hood for my new beetle for about $140 US in steel, but it's more like $600 for a carbon fiber model. The real bonus with carbon fiber is that it's light and it's strong. An electric car has a, and with carbon fiber makes so much sense because the weight and distance on, on an electric vehicle go hand in hand. Price to performance though, no one would want one if you used carbon fiber. However, if you bring down the, car, the cost by using hemp fiber to fall more in line with steel prices, I think this company may have a strong future. I live in Vancouver, so if I can swing it, I'll try to get down there and film some of the trade show, but the conference is happening during my work hours, so no promises on that yet.